Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We've now got the Odyssey on our side, which I love the design of, and actually want to go over this quickly. We can actually go inside of it by capping the door. We can actually look around in here. We can see the drinks we were just having, the book, the guidebook. Oh, we can actually sit over here, I guess. If you're on top of a chair long enough, Mario should just... Oh. Come on, please. Oh my goodness, I keep pressing the button to move Mario, but... He just sits down by himself, and I guess we can have a drink with Cappy, which is nice. But anyway, we can also go over to the mirror and see ourselves in it. But we can also go to this dresser over here and press A, which allows us to change accessories. Uh, you just switch out uh, with the control stick, um, and then when you have both hat and uh, suit picked, then you can press A to confirm both at once, so. But anyway, let's keep the captain's hat for a little bit longer, and let's go explore this kingdom a little bit. Since it's for some reason cold and there's giant chunks of ice everywhere. So, I'm gonna start off by collecting a few purple coins. Those coins are good only in this kingdom. And actually a different shape from the previous one. This is so cold! Everything's just... Everything just froze all of a sudden. Okay. Well, let's grab this flag over here. Come on, taxi! We will be waiting forever! Okay. Well, anyway. Let's grab a few more purple coins since there are quite a few around here to grab right now. There's also this electricity power pole thing that we can grab to move around a little bit. Um, just around this town. You ever get lost? You head for that bright glowy light, okay? Okay, I will probably do that. Probably. Let's grab some more of these purple coins. There are a hundred purple coins in this level according to the collection numbers. Let's grab a few more purple coins and also if we go up here, a power moon, overlooking the desert town. There's also a pipe. There's just going to be a lot of things we're going to be doing all over the place. I'm not sure how well I can actually explain things. I'm not going to be able to explain, go into detail on every single moon, but I will be getting every single moon. There's a prize in this party room, but to find it, you have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble. Let's let it move you to the prize. So the joy cons will rumble the closer you are to something that's under the ground. And if you ground pound on it, it pops out whatever is under the ground. In this case, it's a power moon. A rumble from the sandy floor. Perfect. You let the feeling move you. <laughs> this wasn't really that hard for me because I know where the moon is in that room. It's always the same, so you don't have to worry about it being a different spot every time. Also, this parrot, which we could have seen in the previous level if we stayed there a little bit long longer. Talker 2. What is the secret you are seeking? I know it, I know it, haha. -ha. I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. The invisible maze. It's hiding somewhere, no peeking. Go find it, go find it. Skraka! So, this parrot will tell you the names of three power moons in the level that you have not collected. Once you've collected one of them, it will allow you to get more hints, but once, unless you've not done that, it will always tell you the last, the third one that it's told you. So, so you can only get three hints at a time. See, that's the same, same one, since I've checked four times, or five times, that's the one. Also wedding posters for Bowser and Peach's wedding. And now, I also want to grab these straight away. So, let's where can we plant this? This is a seed, and we can hold it by pressing Y next to it. We can throw it further by throwing the, uh, shaking the Joy-Con. But if we throw it into one of these pots, it will start to grow. And we're going to check back on that later. But there are also two more pots. So, if I can now, I'd like to actually get the other two seeds. And I know where they are. So, let's just go to the furthest reaches of the desert, and there's a coin stack that I could have got, but I'm... I'm alright. Here's another one of these seeds down here. So let's grab that. 
Now, can I actually get this back up, is the question. Yes, I can. This, um, flower thing, which we've seen, a th I think, a few before, allows us to spin once we bounce off of it. Uh, that's going to allow us to get back up with this seed. Also, if we triple jump, we actually... Never mind, I'm pretty sure if we triple jump while you're not holding a seed, you go a little bit faster when just afterwards. There's also this block over here, which looks cool. And if we... What an odd stone. If I can get on top of it, which I don't... You can still ground pound jump on top while holding a seed. The stone is... The stone is certainly uh, peculiar, but it doesn't do any, it seem to do anything. And if we run on it, it actually makes a bit of sound on it. I like the design of this block, though. Just the triangles on it. But anyway. Let's go put the seed where it needs to go, and then go find the next one. Which is not actually around here at the moment, so... We need to do something about that. Okay. Let's move forward. I saw the craziest couple, some race... Uh, come racing past on their way to the ruins. I figure they're still out that way. And here's some Bowser's footprints. Heading in this direction. So let's see if we can catch up to them. And now the music starts because it was very silent before. Let's grab this flag. And let's actually capture this thing. Which is allow allows us to look around the level as like a telescope thing. We can use motion controls, but we can also use the right stick to move around, which is a lot more useful than motion controls. Motion controls is good for precision, but just generally moving around with the control, uh, right control is actually very useful. We can also press Y to zoom in on things. So there's atop the highest tower power moon over there. But for now, let's just uncapture this capture and let's keep on moving. Can't capture these little yellow Goomba things. Okay, we're good. We can also ca capy the, um, the, some of the cactuses to get rid of them. Not all of them, but some of them. And now, we have these bullet bills here, which we can jump on, I think. But we can also just capture them and use them to our advantage. They can break blocks when they crash into things, which will be useful. So let's just go slow. If we press Y, we can accelerate, and if we spin, we can accelerate more. Uh, but for some precision things, you probably don't want to do that, but it's going to be useful in other things. Especially if we need to get somewhere quickly with a bullet bill, so... Now let's go over this way, and get this power moon. Let's quickly head back before this bullet bill breaks, because it only has limited time before it becomes... A bomb, I guess. It doesn't hurt us if we if it explodes, but you still can't use it after that point, and it'll just drop us into the ground. Drop us to the ground. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab these coins here on these rising sand platforms. And also, if I can line myself up, if I knock a cactus into a cactus, it keeps going. And if you get four in a row, it gives you some coins. Now, we have a 2D section here. It doesn't have any... Oh, ZL to crouch, by the way, in a 2D section. It doesn't have any moons in here. But it does have some purple coins that we need to grab, so let's grab these. Ow. And then, if I can not die, that'll be good. Let's jump out of here. We can also just skip this... Uh, this 8-bit section by ground pounding... Ground pound jumping, wall jump, and then... Diving. But anyway, in this box, if something is glowing that you can break, it usually has a power moon in it. Not all the time, but usually. And there's also something else about power moons that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, there's actually a few things. Uh, one of them is that if you collect a power moon when you've not got full health, it will heal you again. Uh, but also, if you try to collect a already collected moon, uh, if you go to where you've already collected one, it'll actually have a clear power st uh, power moon, just like a already collected power star in previous games. If you collect it, it doesn't give you another moon, but it does give you some coins. 
So, oh, I fell. What's this sinking sand you need to keep jumping on so you don't sink in it too much? But anyway, if I can actually stay up here long enough, I might actually be able to get moving. Okay, there we go. And I believe there's also some purple coins down here to get. We could have got them from a different direction going up this way, but I wanted to get them now since that makes it easier. And now for another 2D section. Man, I really love these 2D sections. It's just so cool. And the music is also, like, changed into the uh, NES format, which I like. Also, if we uh, hit a block underneath a, an enemy, it actually kills them as well, which is cool in the 2D sections. But anyway, for now, let's just go all this way quickly. And if we go into this wall here, because there are actually hidden sections in the in some of the 2D sections, get another power moon. Let's hop out of here, grab this flag, and grab the moon. Also, with that block that was way down there before, uh, I mentioned it has triangle, a triangle pattern on it, and now actually these platforms here have the exact same pattern on them, just with the colored ground as well. I don't think it makes the same sound, but it's interesting. And now, we get to this moving platform, we can throw Cappy into these things to make them throw Cappy further out, grabbing coins, or with this one over here, making these laser waves appear. Very uh, Mario Galaxy-esque. But you know, these these laser rings are actually quite useful to us because it actually makes breaks the blocks. So, anyway. And it's falling. This is fine though. We can just walk off. I don't even think it falls. It should actually go back to where it was previously. But anyway, by setting off one of these laser things here. It actually makes a chain reaction which just goes on forever. It will turn off when we actually leave the area, but for now it's just there like that, so. Mo Eye Habitat. Also, if we press minus we can go to our map. You can select any checkpoint flag you've uh, activated and then press A to fly straight to it. So this is a warp system with the flags that we have around the world and the Odyssey has a flag built into it, so we can actually always walk back to the Odyssey whenever we want to. This is quite useful, and now, let's actually go to the shop over here. Just walk in, don't have to press any buttons. And there's a purple side and a yellow side. The yellow side, you can buy things using the regular coins. And on the purple side, you can buy things with the purple coins. The, purple th the things you can buy with the purple coins you can only buy once, but there's also a only a limited number of purple coins in each level to collect anyway. We can actually buy a power moon in each level as well if we have the coins for it. So let's buy this one here. Very nice. And I could buy some of this purple coin stuff now, but I don't want to buy any of the purple coin stuff until I have all the purple coins in each level. Which I'm probably going to get all the purple coins in each level before moving on to the next kingdom, but I can't really promise that. I don't think I'll get all of the power moons in each level before moving on either. But I'll get a few. Play some slots. The Tostera... Tostarina game that's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins to play. What do you say? I say... A power moon can be won. Try it, it's fun. Let's play! Let's do it! Power moon, yes! Yay, slots! Anyway, the easiest way to do these slots is to stand uh, horizontally with the platforms. And then, when you see the heart, throw a cap in, and you get it 
pretty much perfect. Sand Kingdom slots. So there we go. That's a little bit more stuff over there that we can do. Let's head back to where we were up to. Also on the map we can actually see, if we go to press Y to full list, uh, we can see the Power Moon list which shows all of the Power Moons we can collect in level and if we have the, the Parrot Hints will actually tell us what the names of them are. So we can see 54 is the Invisible Maze and 58 is the Jaxi Driver. Uh, it also shows on the top, uh, the top right that has the shows how many purple coins we've collected and how many power moves we've collected. If we press left or right to switch between things, we can actually see the capture list showing all of the things we can capture. There's still quite a lot to go. And we can also go to the souvenir list, which we haven't got anything in yet, so we're going to get to that later. So for now, over here is where the platform is, but there's no power moon here. So we're going to need to do something about that. Starting off, we need to collect these... That's a piece of a power moon. We need to get all of these. We can capture these... Uh, Moman, I think. I can't remember what it's called. And we don't have any secondary ability. Uh, it's the same as just pressing Y. But if we do it, we can actually hold down... Our glasses, or shades. And we can actually see things... That are there that are invisible. You don't need to actually hold down the glasses forever. And it's just a toggle tap thing. Uh, but... Yeah, that's just how it is. So we can see invisible things with these guys. Also, don't walk into cactuses as regular Mari because you will take damage. And actually, if I do do that... Uh, in a minute, or a second... I don't know how long. If I do walk into a cactus as regular Mario and take damage, Mario actually gets spikes into his nose, which just doesn't look pleasant at all. So anyway, some more Bowser's foot footprints. Where are they headed? I don't know where they're headed, but anyway, let's go up here on this platform. These and these particular capture things can't jump, so we actually have to uh, use the elevator stuff. And obviously, if we have the glasses on, we move very slowly. But anyway now, let's just go over here and drop off the edge, because there was a platform here that we could see, and there's also pub coins here. There's also birds just sitting on the invisible platform. Which is great. But anyway, that's all we need that capture for, so let's grab the last piece of a power moon. Which makes the power moon appear that we need to get, so we can continue on. Oh, Mario's still got spikes in his nose. Must not be pleasant. After a long jump, we also run for a little bit. What was that Bowser Creep doing here? Yahoo! Showdown on the Inverted Pyramid. Those spikes in Mario's nose look so painful, and the cutscene had them in it. Oh, they're gone now. Good. Oh my goodness. Mario's okay now. Anyway. Let's look around with this. We can actually see that bird there. We can see where we need to go. And also a 2D section on the side of the pyramid. But yeah. We'll look at that in a second. Let's look around just a little bit more first. I don't know if I can do this right now. But I'm going to go up this way. Oh, I can. Let's grab this flag, since that'll be useful for getting around quickly, and let's see what's in here. Got an underground section. Whenever there's a... a secret section, or just other section in general, there's usually two power moons to get. One regular one that you get along the, at the end, and one hidden one uh, somewhere along the way. So let's look around here and see what we can find. Okay, let me get rid of this. And then let's go back this way a little bit. If we stop being in a bullet bill, we're gonna fall into the poison, which just instantly kills us, so... 
But anyway, let's grab this secret power moon. Bullet Bill May's side path. And let's head back now. Being a little bit cautious because I don't want to die that much in this playthrough. And now we need to go through here. And this should be just about the end, so let's just slow down, let's just slow down, let's not crash into anything, I'm dead. Depending on how you die, you do actually drop the coins in a place you can actually grab them, but if you drop them into the poison or off an edge, they're just going to disappear. Okay, now I'm just having a lot of trouble with this, I don't, and I don't know why, but the don't worry about dying, the coins aren't that important. Oh my goodness, how do I do it again? How? Why? Why? I shouldn't be dying this much. Come on, me. me. Come on, me. I can- I know myself better than that. Okay, please go through there. So I'm going so slow because I don't want to mess this up. I can go fast when I know what I'm doing. But it requires me to know what I'm doing. I should know what I'm doing, but apparently not. Because I forgot this second spinny turny thing here is here. But anyway, that's the end of the secret area, so let's grab this power moon. And whenever you go back into a, 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 a secret area, which I guess this is what that is, uh, if you've not collected all the uh, power moons there, Cappy will tell you that you still have a power moon to find. Or purple coins to find, so that's useful if you need to find things. But for now, let's keep going towards this inverted pyramid. And there's actually some sheep here that we can actually get a power moon from if we uh, do things correctly. They run away from us, but we can also hit them with Cappy to make them fly, or just Ground Pound to make them fly. And this guy, what does he say? No, 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 my beautiful sheep, the three of them have escaped and now I'll never get them back. Get them back. Okay, well, let's get this one if I can. You can't capture them. <laughs> but you can send them flying which th like that, which is so much fun. Come on, in you get. Please land in there. Please don't go over. Oh, you went over. <sighs> okay. Get in the hole. Just get in. Nope, come on. No, 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 no. Don't do it. No, sheep, no. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, let's try that again, and this time, not like that. Also, here's a taxi over here. I've got a customer waiting, but from the looks of this mess, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Brr. There's also this thing over here, which has a multi-moon in it. We have to get that somehow. But we can't get it right now because we can't melt this ice. Let me see if I can get the sheep where I need it to go. There's also this glowing bit on the ground here that we can ground pound for a another multi moon or another power moon. I'm gonna get that long wrong. Ah, words are hard. <laughs> I'm gonna get that wrong a lot, probably. Let me just get the sheep over to its pen if I can see where its pen is. There it goes. Get in the pen because once they're in the pen, they actually can't get out because of the small step. As we all know, sheep can't go upstairs. Let's get this last one in there. If I can actually get it in the right direction. Oh, perfect. So there we go. And let's go grab this power moon. Thank you. No, thank you. Now, that was far too much work, so I'm just gonna obviously... I'm going to take back my uh, help, thank you, and there goes your sheep. <laughs> I love doing that after actually getting them, all the sheep into the pen, is just ground pounding in the pen to make them all go flying. Especially off the edge. Oh, hello, you're back fast. Welcome to Tostara Arena. Here to see the sights? You know about the action guide? I know already. What a relief. Yeah, same. I saw a weird couple go into the pyramid. I think they're going to see the uh, celebrated binding band. Let's go in. 
And this, I don't think counts as a secret area, so I don't think it has two moons in it to get, but I do believe it does have one at least, so let's go over this way. Also, bullet bills can't change their height, so they can't go up and down, but they can go around quickly and just float in the air if we need to go over pits. Also, this should look familiar if we've seen Super Mario Galaxy, because when you're in the blue bit, you go towards the blue bit and you go down, and when you're in the red bit, you go up, which also has the pyramid icons to also be arrows pointing which way you go. Anyway, let's keep going through here and let's crouch because if we jump into the blue bit here, we're actually going to fall into the the death. Anyway, let's crouch again since we can do that. And let's jump up to this pipe, which we need to crouch on to actually go down. And here's that 2D section we saw earlier. Whenever you kill an enemy in a 2D section, you actually get a coin as well. Which I don't think you do in the regular world. So let's just take out these Goombas here, which keep respawning, but we don't want to do anything with that. We want to jump through this hole here and grab a lot of these extra coins and another moon. I guess this whole pyramid counts as a secret area, I guess, because there's this power moon here, but there's also another one inside that we're going to get in a second. So let's just go into this pipe back inside. Okay, I believe there's also a... Ooh, careful. If we can get up here, there's also some purple coins. So let's get those. Because we're going to need them. And now let's... Let's get these blocks broken. With these bullet bills. If we can. And actually, we're probably going to want to take a bullet bill in a second here. But first, let's grab this life up heart. And let's grab the second power moon in a second here. If I can actually grab uh, a bullet bill. There we go. So, the second power moon in this pyramid is actually fairly well hidden. We need to actually break off here and then go into this hole. And then eventually, we're going to slide in here. And there it is in this chest. So that's very nice. Hidden room in the inverted pyramid. We can also ground pound to go through pipes quickly if we actually aim better than that, but anyway. It's quite useful to go down pipes quickly instead of having to wait for it to do things. But anyway, let's just go to the end here. And let's go please up here. And this should be fairly easy to actually get this to give us the combo. Somewhat, but you know, physics. Oh, almost. I like getting them here because it's usually easiest. But also it doesn't always happen, which is sad. Looking for the binding band chumps? Too bad, the boss has it now. And you guys aren't invited to the wedding. Here we go. Another one of the brutal bo boss fights. Which we can send her bomb right back into her using Cappy and then jump on her head. And now, she becomes a UFO thing and drops bombs everywhere. Whenever our bombs explode, they actually leave fire on the ground for a little bit. But now, I'm gonna get it close up to her so she goes further back so I can actually throw this bomb back at her better. And we just need to hit her three times. The previous Brutal only took two hits, but that's because it's the first enemy you fight in the game. Bosses usually take three hits. Just a, just a basic Mario, Mario rule. Okay. Go back. She also has a second attack that I could just wait for her to do. So I'm gonna do that actually. Just need to fail fail to return her bombs for a little bit. And then her second attack, or third attack, her second basic attack, is this gigantic bomb thing here that she throws with her hair. And if we hit that with Cappy, it, it rolls it back into her.
The Hole in the Desert. That brutal slowed us down a bit, but we're still racking up power moons. How odd, the inverted pyramid is floating, and it's gotten so much colder. Is this more of that Bowser's doing? I say he does make trouble, doesn't he? So it's night time now. And we could go to the next kingdom, but there's... Uh, we don't actually need... Um, but there's still more stuff to do in this kingdom now. Mainly this extra main mission to do. Uh, we don't even need to actually do any of the main missions. We don't actually need any of the multi-moons to go to the next any of the next kingdoms. So we could do that now, but we're definitely going to get everything else that's left in this kingdom. Well, not everything, just this next mission that has become available to us. And maybe a few others after that, so. But anyway, that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.